Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. This week, we are talking about when God speaks. How can we know when God is speaking and how should we respond? I want to encourage you, if you have your Bible with you, to turn to 1 Samuel chapter 3. Now, this might be a very familiar story to you, but I assume, like me, you don't mind hearing it again because it's powerful. But there may be some of you out there today watching and listening that have never heard this story before. Exciting. This is such a great story, and I hope it challenges your heart the way that it's challenged mine. To give you a little context, if you read earlier in the book, chapters one and two, it talks about a woman named Hannah. And Hannah is desperate. I actually talked about her a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about prayer. Hannah is desperate to have a baby, but she's barren. And we see this beautiful interaction between her and God where she's crying out, she's persistent, she's honest with the Lord about her desire. And God responds by giving her a child. And in her delight, she praises the Lord and she commits to give her son, who she's named Samuel, back to God to serve with the priest Eli in his service to the Lord. It's a very interesting story. I encourage you to go back and read it. But here we now find an interaction between Samuel, the young child, and God for the very first time. Let's see what happens. This is found in 1 Samuel chapter 3. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 10. It says, The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli, and Eli was the priest, similar to a pastor in today's culture. In those days, the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. Interesting. Don't know why, but we know that God is revealing to us through his word that in that day and age, God's voice wasn't as common. People weren't hearing him. Thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit today that we don't have that issue. But for them, it was rare. Verse 2, one night Eli, the priest, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying in the house of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Now, little context for that as well. What is the ark of God? They literally believed back then that it contained the very presence of God. It needed to be guarded and watched, and it would be brought from place to place. Beautiful, though, that now by the power of Jesus Christ, we have access to the presence of God, the Holy Spirit in our lives. But at that point, it was contained symbolically within the Ark of the Covenant. Moving on. Then the Lord, verse 4, then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, here I am. You called me. Okay, so get this. This little boy is resting, sleeping. He's there. He hears a voice calling him out. And he runs to Eli, the only person present, thinking he must have called him. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and he lay down. Verse 6, again the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and he went to Eli again and he said, here I am, you called me. And my son, Eli, said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So this has happened two different times. Now Samuel did not know yet. Sorry, now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. He never heard God speak before. A third time, the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and he went to Eli and he said, Again, here I am. You called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down. And if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and he laid down in his place. The Lord came and stood there. Ah, picture that. Could it be seen with the human eye? I don't know, but we are revealed through scripture that the Lord was there. It says the Lord came and stood there calling as the other time. So now this is the fourth time he's come. And it says, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening just as he had been instructed by Eli. Now, this was the beginning of a beautiful conversation that continued out through his life between Samuel and God. He learned through his life to not only hear God's voice, discern that it was God, but God actually used him in the office of prophet, which means God would depart wisdom to him, give him words, and he would share them with people, with individuals, with nations. Incredible, but where did it start? It started with a still small voice calling out his name. I love what we see here through the life of Eli, really his mentor in the faith. And Eli says to him, okay, it's God. God is calling you. Here's what I want you to do. When he calls, say, yes, Lord, 
your servant is listening. That's exactly what Samuel did. This is a beautiful challenge for all of us. You know, as we talk this week about hearing God's voice, discerning what's God, what's not, how do we know how to differentiate the two, is our heart posture the same as this little boy Samuel? That we say, yes, Lord, your servant is listening. That shows an attitude of humility. It shows an attitude of reverence to who is speaking to you. It shows attention, intentional attention to the Lord. And it almost implies an obedience when the word servant is used. Hey, what you tell me, I will do. What if our heart posture was that to the Lord? You, I, I hear people all the time say, I want to hear God's voice. I don't know if God's speaking. I want. But a greater question is, what do you do when he does speak? Are you obedient? Do you take his correction and change your life accordingly? Do you receive his encouragement and his affirmation of who you are in him, or do you go back to the lies of the devil? Do you obey God in the direction he's called you to go, or do you stay where it's comfortable and convenient? You see, God is speaking. He's speaking to you and he's speaking to me. But are we listening? And with what attitude are we listening? What if today we started our personal time with the Lord with the same words that Samuel did? Lord, your servant is here and I'm listening. Would you speak to me? And my prayer is that God would speak to you today. Hey, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for spiritual growth.